Emergency transport teams are familiar with spur-of-the-moment medical trips, but this week, a pilot with no medical background dropped what he was doing for a part in saving a life. Tioga High School junior Bree Hansen received the call she had been waiting for. A new heart was available. Jennifer Clean tells us about the staff at Minot Aero Center, poli pilots who closed the 600-mile gap between a girl and her heart. The journey to a new heart started long before takeoff, but that last connection from Tioga to Rochester was smooth sailing thanks to a little help from the skies. I just got a call from my boss and asked if I had anything going. Tioga High School junior Bree Hansen waited for a new heart for more than a year. When the call finally came, Minot Aero Center manager Doug Boudin was among the stream of calls that followed. Ten minutes later he said, you got to go to Tioga and you need to get to Rochester in four hours. The team made a plan on the fly. It wasn't until midway to Tioga that Pilot Peterson found out the reason for the flight. I didn't realize the transplant patient was going to be that young. And it was pretty emotional because she was saying goodbye to her friends and, and their family. Uh, her mom came with us, so I tried to make her feel as comfortable as possible and try to fly as smooth as I could. She's a pretty amazing little girl. She, uh, about 20 minutes into the flight, she was asking me questions, um, how the airplane works. and. It just seemed like a normal flight at that point. She wasn't real worried about what was going to happen to her. And When asked if this flight felt different because there was a life depending on him, Peterson said that's true of every flight. There always kind of is when you're a pilot. Um, it's kind of weird. When you sit on the end of the runway and go to take off, your mind kind of just goes to the safety of the flight because not only are you responsible for your life, but for the other people's lives. With the tailwind, the group touched down in Rochester just two and a half hours later. I wrote a special little note in my logbook, so I'll remember it. The road to recovery stretches out before her, but Bree's path to clear skies is touching hearts along the way. In mine at Jennifer Clean, KX News. Bree is still sedated following the heart transplant, but her mom says that was according to plan and the surgery went well.